Siwa, you're coming with me. Fuck you! You're not taking me alive! Stop! Ah, yeah. oh, come on! Stop goddamn taking me! Oh, God, no! no. Oh, my. Ah. Be ready. Fuck! Run! Run. Shit! Let's go! 
people! God damn it, let go of me! Shut up! You know what you just did? You're dead! You're dead! Look, I'm not afraid of dog eyes. Dog eyes?
insult me? The car's crap! Let me fix my car up. Then I'll take you. Easy. Fine. It's your funeral. Not much. You? How's your dad? I told you! Second, huh? I still own it. Hey, you know this guy weighs shit? It's supposed to be Sun on Yi. Every time I turn around, that guy shows up. And usually the cops aren't far behind. Started racing the other day. Talking tough. You think he's a rat? More on the cover. They had a problem with that a little while back. You think they kill a cop when the police just go away? Sun on Yi's in trouble if he is. I'm 18K. What do I care? But if I was you, I wouldn't let them see you do anything and walk away. This town is full of morons, Naz. It's up to me to put them into place. Yeah? Why? Pug by the name of Ace. Talking a lot of trash. Now the fool actually wants to race. No accounting for people's intelligence these days. You gonna take him out? Uh-huh. Motherfucker won't know what hit him. Tell people he's gonna take me down? What? Don't worry. If you race this me, they'll be scraping him off the pavement in sticky little pieces. Looks like you have little choice, huh? Inspector, it's Way. Hotshot's gonna race Ace. And he's talking like he's not gonna let Ace make it to the finish line alive. Do you know where and when? Not yet. And one other thing. Hotshot and his friend Nas suspect them a cop. Nas Singh? The drug smuggler? You know him? Yeah, I know him. He's an informant for HKPD. He's the one that put us on to Hotshot in the first place. <laughs> Fucking guy is playing both sides of the game. You want me to tell him to shut up? No! I agreed to help you, Inspector, but not if it gets me killed. Do everything you can. I'll deal with Nas myself. All right, Way. All right. For now, let me know if you find out anything about that race. Show your true colors tonight, brother. You are an officer of the law.
Keep it together. Easy now. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it... My car! My car! It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. 
Then what will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? Here we are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? Yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she, you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Hey! Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, slow down! <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster!
pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. I'll follow you. Relax, I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to cry for my dead fingers, you hear? Tell Winston I got the Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Way. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that wounded. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah. I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Careful! <laughs> oh my god! Very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> You're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here, I'll be right back. Don't belong here. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible.
Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. Got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Oh, cops, perfect. Hi, -ya. Winston is not gonna like this. Go, go! It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Now sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. Do you have a good heart? Peggy, I... Nope. I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always... Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. Hey, 